Hey folks, this is Abdul from AllAboutAndroids.com and today I'll be showing you Paranoid Android running on the HTC Sensation. Now, Paranoid Android is a very unique ROM. Uh, the basic thinking about the ROM is that phones that have the uh, bigger screens, uh, such as uh, mine which has a 4.3 inch screen, should not have the same uh, looking or the same interface as uh, phones with lower resolutions or smaller screens. Phones with bigger screens, uh, you know, should have tablet-like interfaces. Now, Paranoid Android comes with three different uh, kind of uh, settings. It comes with, let me just go to Paranoid settings. Default, uh, the default setting that it comes with is phone. When you um, just flash the ROM, it comes with just Everything looks like Cyanogen Mod 9. The other two settings that it has are tablet mode and hybrid mode. Tablet mode, of course, makes it look like a tablet and hybrid uh, mixes phone and tablet together. Uh, now, Paranoid Android is heavily based off Cyanogen Mod 9. It just comes with the uh, default Cyanogen Mod 9 kernel. And it also comes with a trebuchet launcher, which is a CM9's launcher. Uh, it is clocked at uh, 1.2 gigahertz, and the camera camcorder are from AOKP. Now, enough of that. Let's check out the uh, different modes. Right now, I'm running on hybrid mode, and as you can see, it looks different from just your average Joe Sanogen Mod 9. It looks a bit smaller. Uh, the best thing about hybrid mode is that you can uh, go to a list of apps and every single app that you have, you can uh, choose to view it in phone mode, tablet mode, or customize it to whatever resolution you want. You can choose the uh, DPI, which stands for dots per inch. So, for example, right now I set Chrome to tablet user interface with a uh, DPI of 160. Now if I go down to Chrome right here, as you can see, I can see the tabs. The phone mode does have uh, tabs, but you don't see them. They're in, hidden in settings. But over here you have the tabs and you can exit tabs, everything like this. And uh, my Gmail app, for example, if I can find it, it's right here. It also, it looks like a tablet interface. It has multi-touch. It's pretty nice, different than whatever uh, the phone interface offers. I can switch this to the phone inf interface I want, whenever I want. Um, so you really have to play around with this. You have to uh, choose the settings uh, that you are going to like. Um, it's not the same for everybody different preferences and stuff and the other settings we're going to check out right now is uh, tablet mode so I'm just going to uh, deselect hybrid and then just go to tablet mode it does require you to reboot the phone so I'll be right back when this reboots so now I'm in tablet mode as you can see it looks like any tablet interface that you would uh, see on um, 4.0.3 tablets you have your in, your notifications down here if I go into settings it looks exactly like a tablet um, yes yeah, so your app drawers up here I have all my nice apps here and all the widgets so um, yeah so that's about it uh, I'm running version 1.4 right now and uh, there's been many fixes for uh, version 1.4. The first and foremost is uh, battery drain. There was heavy battery drain on 1.1 that's uh, been fixed for the most part, better battery life. Um, there's also been uh, Lenovo optimi uh, optimizations which uh, means that uh, there's been uh, changes in the back end of the ROM, um, just how the ROM compiles just a different way of compiling and uh, there's also been a lot of uh, graphical bug uh, fixes and uh, you know there were there was overlapping and stuff and that's that's been fixed and uh, tablet uh, 
Steam uh, used to crash and that's also been fixed. So that's about it for this ROM. Um, now this is a work in progress so please be patient with it. I believe this is a very intuitive idea. Play around with the settings. Uh, you know, try the ROM yourself and tell me uh, what you think about the ROM. Do you think that it's worth having a tablet mode or a hybrid on your phone or do you think that tablet should tablet mode should just stay on the tablets? Anyway, this was uh, Abdo from allaboutandroids.com. I hope you liked this video. Please uh, comment and subscribe. It really helps us out. Also, add us on Facebook, Google+, and uh, Twitter. Thanks.